is the most important lesson you learned as an emergency physician? You know, uh, so many lessons. I would say the most important one I've learned is that physicians, nurses, techs, everybody should be considered part of the healthcare team and that when you break down hierarchical bar barriers and treat everybody the same and realize that everyone is there to take care of the patient, uh, I, I truly believe that patients get the best care when you, when you do it like that. So break down the tribes. The hardest thing about being an emergency physician is? I'd say it's probably the stress of, of having to go from one patient to the next and to the next and to the next with sometimes little to no time to reflect on uh, a, a bad trauma case or a sick child. And we do this every day, every shift we work, we go from case to case to case and you constantly have to change gears and get your mindset for the next patient and then go to the next patient. Uh, that's the toughest job is, is, is not being able to reflect enough during the shift. The best thing about being an emergency physician is? You're never bored. You have no idea what's coming in the door. It could be a trauma, it could be a sick septic patient, it could be a laceration, it could be someone who simply needs reassurance. But we are there on patients' worst days and uh, we, it's our job to make their day better and to stabilize patients. Uh, it's the best job in the world. What is the best professional advice you have been given? The, can I swear on this at all or no? So the, for emergency medicine where we work with nurses and people of all different levels, the, the, the best advice, and I've been given a lot of advice over the years, the best piece of advice I can think of is don't be a d and and that basically means be nice to everybody. Uh, I know the names of the people who clean our emergency department, the nurses, the techs. Uh, ultimately, patients get better care when everybody knows each other and they're nice to each other. There's, there, there's lots of advice I could give, but the one is just be nice to people. If you're nice to people and you work hard, good things will happen. Who is the most important person you admire and why? Oh my gosh, uh, so many people. Um, I, I would, I guess on being put on the spot, I would probably choose Barack Obama, former U.S. president, uh, for his ability to show something which has increasingly been shown to be one of the most, most important traits of any person, and that's the ability to be emotionally intelligent. Uh, always emotionally intelligent, always thoughtful, thinks about his answers, very calm. Um, my father was, was, was similar in that regard. Um, the, the, the older I get, obviously I'm get, we're all getting older, the, the ability to be emotionally intelligent, thoughtful, and articulate, and not uh, spring to action and, and say the first thing that comes into your, you know, to your head is important. So I'd, I'd have to say Barack Obama. What is the one thing you have learned never to do as an emergency physician? <laughs> never, ever treat the nurses with disrespect. Um, from things like cleaning up, if, you, if a resident or I do a central line or an intubation, clean up your mess. Don't leave the mess for the nurses. Don't assume that what they do is not important. What they do is just as important as you. If you treat nurses with respect and the, the whole team with respect, you will be one of the most loved emergency physicians in your hospital wherever you go. It is a trait that will make your life so much better. Thank you.